Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, let's play a little game here. Which of these are knives? All right. Let's identify the knives, all right? Because I had a comment where somebody commented on one of my videos. It was a troll, but they were saying, why spend $100 on Rough Riders and junk like that when you could buy a case or a GEC, right? So in that person's opinion, these are not knives here. None of these are knives. Those are not knives. This. This is not a knife. Why is it not a knife? Because it's not a fancy schmancy name brand super customized $350 Bowie. That's why. Guess what this thing will do? It'll cut you like any other knife. Yeah, it might not hold up forever and everything, but for $20, I think that's a pretty good knife. Um, basically, my response to that person was, uh, that's why it's called my money. I spend my money on whatever I want. Yeah, I like GEC, you know. But I'm not going to spend 140, 150 bucks and chase this sucker down um, exclusively. Now, if I was buying knives just for you, just for YouTube, then yeah, they'd just be the fancy ones. And it'd be, ooh, look at this. And if any of them come in, I'd just say, oh, look how nasty and cheap this knife is, you know, just to slam it. No. Um, these are knives. These are working knives. These are knives you would carry around every day and cut. When you start getting... Now, I know there are exceptions. People that actually carry and use their GECs. But most people are thinking investment. Look at. Don't touch too much. Even if you open it up, you know, you might start putting scratches around the bolster, around the tang and everything, and lower its value. Ooh, we don't want any scratch marks on here. That's fine. If you want to do that, I mean, that's my thing is, if you're going to go leave a comment on somebody's channel, leave a constructive comment. Don't tell me what you would do. You know, I mean, if I had $100, I'd only spend it on a case or a GEC. Well, that's fine. You take your $100 and you do that. Why don't you put up a video, too, while you're at it? A lot of these people that make comments... Like I said, are just trolls. They have zero content. They have no subscribers or maybe one or two fools that thought that they were a channel. Um, it's not super bother me. It's just, you know, I could block this person and not have to deal with them because I looked at the last three comments this person made and it was always slamming. I don't know why people would buy Rough Riders, they're junk, they're wasting their money. That's your opinion, buddy, that's fine. You, you know, you you probably have quite a few people that feel the same way. Why don't you start a channel called Rough Rider Haters, you know? <laughs> and uh, you'll probably get quite a few followings, you know? Get a bunch of people that all we do, we get up there and we show off our... Super high-end, high-dollar knives and stuff. And we slam the crap out of anything we consider low value. But guess what? These are still knives. These still cut. We tend to lose track of what a knife is and why people buy them. A person could spend, you know, $140 on a GEC or more. And have a pretty good knife that'll do everything. There's nothing wrong with high dollar knives, you know. I like them. Can I afford them all the time? No. So if I've got $100 to spend, I could get one knife that I could look at. But guess what? I get just as much joy huh, out of a $15 knife as I do out of a $150 knife, you know. I get just as much pleasure. So, for me, I haven't fallen into the trap where I only see these as knives. You can have your blinders on and...
go through life and think that only high dollar and high expensive things are the way to go, that's fine. <clears throat> that's why it's called your life. My life, I do what I want to do in my life. And if I want to spend a hundred dollars, you think, if you think that the, the last hundred and fifty, the hundred dollar order that I spent on at Smoky Mountain Nice Works was a waste, you should see what I spent for a hundred dollars in my life and gotten out of it. So, yeah, I think I've gotten a good investment out of these because my investment is not for these things to increase in value and become rare and to pass down to grandchildren and all that other stuff because I'm retired. I don't have any grandchildren. And what do I care about investment, you know? Really, if I've got enough money to pay rent and get by, then if I want to spend 50 or or $100, I could spend $65 and get one copperhead. I love this knife. It's a nice knife. Just taking your chances with Case lately, you know? I mean, maybe they're going to up their game, but this is a good example of a Case. But I know a lot of them where they just should not have left the factory. Yet you're paying $65. You could have spent $15, $12, gotten a damn good knife. So... Yeah, I don't understand. I just really don't understand what what people... Uh, this is something else you can do. You can customize inexpensive knives. Put glow-in-the-dark stuff on it. You think I'm going to slap that on this GC? <laughs> yeah, I'd customize it all right. But, yeah, it'd be like putting lipstick on a pig. So, anyway. All I'm saying is... Try not to go through life slamming what other people do and criticizing things. And once in a while, say something positive. Do something positive, you know? How you would spend your money and how you would do your stuff, that's fine. That's why it's called your life. You spend your stuff the way you want. I spend my money the way I want. I enjoy inexpensive knives like Rough Riders and stuff. Yeah, they're made in China. Ooh, so is a lot of other stuff, you know? I'm not really worried about that. It's not a big concern of mine. So if you've got an issue with China, take it somewhere else. If you want to see high dollar knives all the time, sorry, this is the wrong channel for that, you know? Everybody was talking about GECs and how great they are, and yes, they're a great knife. This knife right here, I don't know. You know, I look at it, I cut with it and stuff every once in a while, but usually if, I get, if I'm if i carrying like a, a GEC, now this one I'll cut with. I'll carry it with me, I'll cut, but I'm not going to go cutting down a tree with it or anything like that. <clears throat> I start, it's not like becoming a safe queen, but it's becoming like restricted use. You know, like, eh, at least so, time, so many times when you you need to cut something open, this will cut. You're not going to worry about scratches on it. You're not going to worry about dropping it or losing it or anything else. So, yeah, there's <clears throat> there's uses for inexpensive knives for those of you who are unaware. <clears throat> and uh, not everybody has a lot of money to spend on one knife. $100, sir. Give me $100 for this knife. All right, but I, you know, I'd like to get this this many knives to mess around with. This one's cool, but I can wait, you know, but $100. It's all what you want. What you do with them, what you use them for. That's why it's all an individual thing. That's why it's not a good idea to knife shame, because if somebody's sitting there and saying that this is the greatest knife in the world and everything... If you get under their channel and you start slamming them, I mean, every day, they, they every time they put up a video, they talk about how much they love this knife, you know. And then you start saying, 
you get up there and start saying, well, it's not that well made, blah, 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 and just start slamming it. What good does that do? What have you accomplished? You just said your opinion, which is basically, you don't think it's the greatest knife in the world. Well, fine. Put up your own channel and let us see what you think is your greatest. See, that's what gets me. These people that put up these uh, troll accounts where it's just basically no content, you know, but they're, oh, well, they've got a lot of, they've got a lot of comment, and it's usually negative. So they're anonymous. They have no example of what they're doing. You know, like they say, you should do your lighting better or whatever. Okay, let's see what your lighting's like. Oh, I don't have any lighting. I don't have a channel. I just, I just watch. Well, okay, fine, you know. But if you're going to, if you're going to sit there and have an anonymous channel and then start leaving criticisms about how people should spend their money and what they should do it on, then uh, be prepared to get blocked a lot, banned, people just slamming you because, you know, that's just a stupid comment, really. You know, I mean, eventually I'm just going to get to the point where I don't even respond to these. I don't even comment on them, I just block them, just say, all right, that's it, fine. You've had your warning, you know. I don't mind. It's, it's only just some rare people that do this. It's none of the regular people that comment on here. I know everybody that comments on here, and we and we all, you know, everybody has different opinions on what they like and what they don't like, and what's their favorite knife, and that's what makes it great, man. We're not we're not all clones. We don't all have to like just Case or just GEC. You know, ooh, what if, a, you know, somebody came on here and just said, I don't like this, you know, particular GEC. Well, yeah, you're going to get some fanboys that are going to be upset, you know. Um, but that's that's your opinion, you know. Your opinion is perfectly valid. Look how this is changing colors. That's from sitting against this leather right here. That's what that is. I didn't know it would actually tarnish this. So, oh well. Check this guy here. Yeah, he's catching a little tarnishing. Oh, well, like I said, these are not safe queens. I'm going to carry around. I'm going to use them. If I ever have to sell them, it's going to be at a loss probably anyway. So, uh, I'm going to get some use out of it. I'm not going to take like... That is something, you know, like, if you use a GEC a lot, even though you use it and everything else, you could still sell it and get more money than you would out of one of these. That's just because you've got over $100 invested in a knife instead of $12. So, this thing's might appreciate. You'd be surprised. Some of these models, just like with collectors and everything, some of these knives, they get to where they're getting, yes, $35. You know, for a Rough Rider, or more. I see some where they're just starting out with $35, especially the uh, clasp knife, the the deer killer or whatever they have, the big, like, single one clip point blade. I wish they'd bring those back. Every time you see one of those offered on eBay on the secondary market, they start off at, like, at least $35 plus shipping. And it's a bid. So if you bid on it, somebody else could... Just raise it by, you know, a dollar and win at the last second if you're really interested in it. So these can double in value. It just depends on the uh, the knife and how much people are willing to buy it. So, yeah, my, my suggestion is uh, try not to be so damn critical in life, you know. Every once in a while, uh, this is just directed to the bonehead. It's not to y'all. Every once in a while... Um, do something nice, you know, get out of your basement, tell your parents that you love them or something like that, you know, um, get out of your Lamborghini or whatever the hell you're doing that you can afford to buy a case, nothing but case and GEC all the time. And, um, yeah, experience a little diversity, man, where people don't have the exact same opinion as you. They don't like the exact same things, you know. That's the way life is. It's a little bit different out there. There's different kinds of people. and different. They like different kinds of knives. And that doesn't mean that one is worse than the other or anything else. That's just human nature, man. 
So anyway, sorry for getting on this rant, but uh, just been in my head, just thinking about it, you know, like every time a little troll comes up, not that I'm easily triggered, but they usually have some stupid comment that you've seen more than once somewhere else that you just want to address, you know, and put to rest. Like, hey, what you want to do with your money, I'm not going to criticize. I don't tell you, hey, you're eating that cereal when you could be buying this or you could be done. I don't care what you do with your money. And, it, yeah, this is a public platform, and this is a public, you know, channel, but it's about my knives and my experience. So what I say about them can't be wrong because, hey, you know, and I'm not going to buy knives just to make them look good for the channel. I bought this case because I thought it looked cool, and I still think it looks cool, and I like it and everything, but... I can't afford to be buying cases all the time because I don't want to take the chance of getting a crappy one that I have to take back. And there's not a whole lot of their designs that I can't get the same thing out of, you know. Like I said, I'm not going for investment. I'm just doing this because these are knives I like to buy. And lately, I've been into mess kits and canteens, which I'm running out, you know. I've pretty much got most of those bought up, but... Uh, I'm going to be getting back into knives, but I'm just saying, this is my channel. I use my money to buy my knives. You can like them or dislike them, that's fine. But when you start telling me how to spend my money, the only way you can do that is by giving me money. You know, you give me $100 and you say you must buy a case or a GEC, then okay, yeah. Guarantee you I'll do that. Otherwise, you didn't earn that money. So, you have no right to tell me how to spend it, basically. And you can take a flying leap at yourself, take a long walk off a short pier, stuff like that, you know. Basically, you take your pen in and shove it up your butt. I just uh, smashed my bread over here. Not in anger. I just put some stupid go-go squeeze. Go-go squeeze. I think this one's a banana. Fruit on the go. Applesauce. All right, so, yeah. I guess the moral of the story after this long rant is uh, I like diversity. I like different comments. I like, you know, different opinions and everything. But the one place you're never going to get me to change is on how I spend my money. You know? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to spin it the way I want to. So, so there. Thank you for watching this rant. And um, do something kind for someone. Do something nice, you know. I mean, don't, don't engage in negativity and rumor and gossip and hate and slander and all that other crap. If you don't like Ryder Knives, guess what? You don't have to buy them. Nobody else cares about your opinion on how you hate Rough Riders, you know. If you wanna if you wanna hate Rough Riders, like I said, there are some out there. You could have a pretty good market, a pretty good following. You could probably get up to a thousand viewers of Rough Rider haters out there and you'd be monetized in no time. And you'd be able to buy all those cases in GEC. So yeah, thank you for watching and have a nice day.